Hey guys, it's Kyle with 1-800 Plumber Plus here in Indianapolis here again. Um, we're here on a, <laughs> a rainy Indiana day, you know, go figure. So one thing we see a lot on rainy days or shortly thereafter are flooded basements. Okay, and we wanted to talk to you guys today about how you can prevent your basement from being flooded. Uh, so I guess we'll just jump right into it. So here I've got a very crude depiction of a sump pump, float switch, check valve, and all this uh, associated piping. So, <clears throat> biggest problem we see with sump pumps are these floats right here, okay? The electric motor normally doesn't go out, um, however, it can. Uh, but most of the problems we see are with the switches. Either the switches' contacts get wet, they don't make or break anymore, they get stuck, things like that. So, how this is supposed to work is imagine this switch like a light switch right it's either on or it's off so what that does is through this piggyback style switch and not every pump has this through this piggyback style switch it sends power to the pump as the switch comes up and makes okay so one thing that you can do if you walk into your basement and you can see that your pit is extremely full you know, like filled to the top, get ready to run over, is you can actually unplug the pump from this float switch and plug this pump outlet directly into your outlet. And the pump, if the pump kicks on, that's great. If not, we've got a pump issue. Okay, so another thing that's often overlooked is this little weep hole right here. Right? Some people will say, oh man, my sump pump is spraying out of the bottom every time that it turns on. It's supposed to do that, okay? So what happens is after your pump finishes pumping, right? The water goes out. Water on this side is going out. This check valve doesn't let that water flow back into the pit. So the check valve's here, stopping the water from flowing back. And then this weep hole is supposed to allow this water that's in the pipe and built up in the pump to drain out so the pump doesn't have as much head pressure to pump against or what we call airlock. Okay. So with that spraying out, that's completely normal. Some pumps have them built in down here, but they all recommend that you install a weep hole in the pipe. So guys, with that, if you have any questions or you need anything at all, give us a call here at 1-800-PLUMBER-PLUS. Everybody's more than happy to help you.